already under fire for compromising its use of data, Facebook is back in the news, this time for its facial recognition technology. What do users need to know about it? This is Inside AB, I'm Jeremy Lawrence, and I'm here in the studio with Bern de Boosman. Bern, so tell us, what's the issue this time with Facebook? Well, Facebook recognition has been around for some time. It was first introduced in 2011. Um, most people probably remember it as the tag suggestions when you put up pictures of friends, people you know, there'd be a little suggestion box that comes up next to it. Uh, but in some parts of the world, for example, in the US and in Canada, it was discontinued uh, due to privacy concerns. But now it seems that they're trying to reintroduce that into parts of the world where it was discontinued. Um, so there's a bit of back and forth going on about it at the moment. Okay, uh, before we get into that, how does the technology itself work? Well, it's interesting. So Facebook takes, it's essentially a, a unique number. They call it a template based on your face, based on your profile picture and other pictures you've put up. So when a picture of you is put up, it's then instantly, almost instantly rather, matched with their database of templates. So it can tell who's in the picture as long as they have other pictures of the same person on, that have been tagged on Facebook. Okay, which is actually quite useful as well, of course. It, it is quite useful, for example, if, you know, you need to quickly tag people in a lot of photos. That's... Yeah, yeah. But um, tell us, if this uh, this technology has existed for a while, why is it back in the news right now? Well, recently they started sending notifications to people asking their permission to capture facial data. Um, and they're using the European Union's new general data protection regulation, which comes into play on the 25th of this month, uh, as their basis for doing so, even in places where it already exists. Um, so now it's kind of in the public consciousness again because Facebook's asking people about it. Of course, of course, and it's been in the news so much in recent words because of Cambridge Analytica. So what sort of opposition have we seen to this? Well, in the US, an American judge in Illinois ruled that the company had faced a class action lawsuit for capturing data without any any permission whatsoever. Mm. And a group of privacy organizations in the US are also filing a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission saying that they've been collecting data from photos without the consent of either the person, people in the photos, or the person that uploaded the photo to Facebook in the first place. Um, so there is, I mean, especially in the US at the moment, there is quite a bit of, of legal back and forth about this particular issue. Okay, so Facebook's woes are kind of continuing. They, they are, and of course, I mean, it's uh, been a rough few months, I would yeah. say. Um, if people want to turn it off, how do they do that? Well, it's quite easy. You just go to settings, and then there's a facial recognition option, and then you just switch it off, and then you're, you're free from okay. it if you wish. Right. Well, and here's a question. Would you turn it off? I will turn it off, actually. I, uh, I don't like my face to be captured without my consent. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I actually think I'd leave mine on. It's quite helpful for tagging quickly, but no. So there we are, Facebook still in the news and not necessarily for the right reasons. You've been watching Inside AB with myself, Jeremy Lawrence, and Bern de Boosman. Please do join us every weekday at 10 a.m. and subscribe and share. Bye. <laughs>